India has recently extended a no-fly, no-tam zone over the Indian Ocean to a record 4,795 kilometers from the Odisha coast for a missile test scheduled on August 20th, 21, 2025. This move has triggered vigorous speculation that India may be preparing to test its much-anticipated Agni-6 intercontinental ballistic missile, a program shrouded in secrecy and anticipation. A notice to airman Notam is routinely issued before any missile test to alert civilian and commercial aircraft of impending hazards in a specific airspace. Traditionally, Notam ranges for India's missile tests have been in the 1,500-1,900 kilometers corridor, matching the operational envelope of known systems like Agni-3 and Agni-4. In recent tests, zones have sometimes reached up to 2,530 kilometers, and for Agni-5, India's current longest-range missile, the corridor approaches just over 5,000 kilometers. ICBMs like the Agni-6 generally reach speeds of Mach 2024, that's 24,500, 29,400 kilometers per hour during the mid-course phase outside the atmosphere. For context, the earlier Agni-5, according to publicly available figures, can reach speeds up to Mach 24. Agni-6, being a technological advancement upon Agni-5, is expected to match or even exceed these top speeds. The 4,795 km NOTAM for the upcoming August test is extraordinary, surpassing the usual ranges for India's existing arsenal and raising the prospect of a new, longer-range missile system, potentially the Agni-6, being tested without overt declaration. The Agni-6 project, often hinted at, but never confirmed in detail by official Indian defense sources, is expected to be an ICBM with a theoretical range between 8,000 and 12,000 kilometers. Some defense analysts have speculated it could even be capable of 16,000 kilometers, potentially carrying multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles, or MIRVs, allowing a single missile to hit several targets. If these capabilities are demonstrated, India would join a highly exclusive club of nations, like the US, Russia, and China, with true ICBM potential. The Indian government and organizations such as DRDO, the Defense Research and Development Organization, typically maintain strict confidentiality around strategic weapons development. This secrecy serves multiple purposes, preventing political backlash, minimizing international scrutiny or diplomatic friction, especially regarding the missile technology control regime, and preserving the element of surprise in a volatile security environment. Is India hiding the Agni-6 test? While official confirmation is absent, several clues suggest a possible Agni-6 trial. Unprecedented zone, the 4,795 kilometers NOTAM is vastly larger than India's known operational test corridors for other missiles, piercing deep into the Indian Ocean and closely resembling what would be required to test an ICBM tier weapon. Changing NOTAMs. Originally, the test corridor was announced as 1,560 kilometers, then extended to 2,530 kilometers, and now nearly 5,000 kilometers, matching the pattern for secretive high-stakes weapons evaluations. Timing and secrecy. There has been an absence of typical fanfare or media notifications from government defense agencies, fueling speculation that the test could proceed with minimal external announcement. Why would India not announce it publicly? There are several practical and strategic reasons. Geopolitical sensitivity. Openly testing an ICBM could disrupt regional security dynamics with China and Pakistan and draw international attention or condemnation. Technological surprise. Secrecy helps preserve India's technological edge and element of surprise in deterrent strategy. Diplomatic nuance. By not making explicit claims, India can avoid breaching or complicating commitments under multilateral regimes like the MTCR. A successful Agni-6 test would represent a giant leap in India's nuclear deterrent, enabling it to hold targets at transcontinental ranges and join the ranks of true global nuclear powers. The move would also send a subtle strategic message amidst ongoing regional competition, especially in response to China's and Pakistan's growing missile ambitions. Thank you for watching. If you found the video insightful, hit the like button and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.